of a gas can. Um, we're gonna be we're just edging into Tarantino a little bit with this episode. You can see a little bit. I'm around now. Samuel Jackson was not in Tarantino's first film, which is unfortunate. Some big matches. Woo! It's pretty sweet, right? Actually, Germany released uh, Death Proof the exact same way. So there were two gas cans. Tarantino films. Neither of them have Samuel Jackson in them. But, who is in it? Uh, well, Mr. Pink. Why do I gotta be Mr. Pink? Steve Buscemi. Uh, was in other films with Samuel Jackson. And uh, continuing our tape, and my only other tape. Uh, I saw this in California some time ago. This is not in good condition in any way whatsoever. This is in horrible condition. And there is a DVD of it, which I will acquire at some point. Um, so, uh... Samuel Jackson plays Colonel Ron, Vietnam vet. He's uh, a little crazy. I think he's homeless. Uh, the whole point is like this kind of, they're just searching for this guy named One-Eyed Jimmy, and it's just like a bunch of famous people. It's made for cheap. Um, it's got uh, also Nicholas Turturro, John Turturro, Jennifer Beals, some people of that time. Uh, it's a fun watch. It's not... <laughs> it, it's just fun. He, of course, Sam and Jack's part is very small. This is a little cameo, but he's dedicated to playing playing Colonel Ron. So That was pretty sweet. Uh, this is... Uh, n that one's kind of obscure. It's not that hard to find. There's copies of it around. This film is uh, was actually directed by Steve Buscemi. It's his project. Uh, he <laughs> he's not playing a guy in a good light in any way. Uh, back in the day, again, I'll me I'll mention this one more time. Full screen and widescreen were choices, and the widescreen version of this is hard to find. And when you find it, it's kind of expensive. But I want to see the whole film. It's the way I always have been. So, Tommy. Tommy in Trees Lounge. He's, uh, he's just kind of a mess. Human wreck of a person. Um, nothing's really going well. And when it does, things are just going to get worse. Uh, one of the coolest parts of the film, again, is uh, Tommy in the bar. Sam and Jackson walks in. And I swear to you, he is like... He's the light in the film. It's not much light, uh, but he's he's a very happy, kind of optimistic character. And uh, it's actually a great, great little cameo from him. I don't know if you call it a cameo. It's, just, it's, it's short. It's a part. Is um, sure he was meant to be in the film. Yeah, some other people. Car uh, Carol Kane's in it. Uh, Chloe Savini. Um, Debbie Mazar. Daniel Baldwin. You know that reminds me. You know what? Whatever. I'll do that right now. One sec. <laughs> Stay right there. I can't cover this in one, you know, in one silly episode. I'm talking about Baldwin. Your voice is out, Baldwin. Um, Samuel Jackson is is in this, but is not in this. Uh, this is Team America. It's one of the most expensive puppet movies ever made. Uh, I love that. What what the Trey and Matt do with their money. 
they they get an idea and they're gonna do the idea that they have whether it's uh, an idea that's monetarily viable or not um, and they created this which is kind of like a Thunderbirds uh, satire of how America polices the world and like almost all of their films are, or their cartoon you know the South Park um, they're going to make fun of celebrities and Samuel Jackson is one of them but they spend so much time getting Alec Baldwin like perfect. There's so many like there's a perfection to everything. And then when Samuel Jackson's part comes, it's the worst. <laughs> it's like they didn't even try. It it really is the worst. And I believe they blow his head off too. Um so So I wanna ask you, should this be part of the collection or not? I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be Stuck in the steel books over here. But if you think so, tell me. I'd like to know. And and see Trees Lounge if you get a chance. Um, again, not a film for everybody. Kind of sad. Kind of depressing. Um, but if you're really into Steve Buscemi and you want to see what his vision was like, I think you'll like it.